How do you define a woman? How do you define Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. It's, a woman. it's your mama. The woman is your mama. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Short, quick answer. What is a woman? What no. is a woman? What is a woman? The word, word woman, define in the dictionary. Go. A woman is somebody who is included and respected and seen and participates in society, recognized by other women. If you speak with women... Circular definition. That's my... whatever. What's the wrong? Your mama! <laughs> it's your mama! It sure ain't your daddy! What is a woman? What is a female? What do, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers. The woman is your mama! <laughs> You know, you're talking about you don't know what a, whether you're a man or a woman. You're trying to decide. Just stand in the mirror and get naked. You know what you are. Just look at what you are. Bing, that's your answer. <laughs> that's your answer. Ms. Robinson, do you agree with Ms. Gaines that there's a difference between women and men? If the question is about trans women... I'm just asking, is there a difference between women and men? I mean, what I can say here is that the NCAA has rules in place. They've had rules in place for the last decade, and when this competition okay, okay, happened, I'm, I'm gonna try the again. rules were clear. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? It, it's a yes-no question. It is, it, do you believe there's a difference? Oh, I think that we're talking about this case with the NCAA. No, I'm asking a question. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? Most think, people could answer this very simply. I, I'm curious if you're willing to do so. Oh, absolutely. I'm just putting it into the context of the is that conversation a yes? that we're having. I think that there are definitions it, related it, to is, sex. Is, is that a yes? So I'm that trying to get a yes or no. I'm not trying to get, get a speech. It, oh, I, is I'm, there a difference between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're not answering different. I think that often in these conversations we're conflating sex and gender. And I do want to affirm here that trans women are, are women. That is their gender. And how many genders are there? I think the gender is expansive, and the definitions are always growing. Um, you know, today I can tell you more I talk than to five? young people more that than talk about non-binary as more than five. I think the gender is not a binary, is what I'm trying but to is, say. But are there more than five genders? I'm just trying to understand. Are there more than five genders? Well, I mean, I think that there was a time where women wearing pants didn't feel like it was appropriate for their gender, are, and yet I'm wearing pants today. There, I think that there are ways that we question. express our are there gender more than that are five expansive. Genders? Are there more than five? I wouldn't subject myself to naming how many genders there are, but what I can say is, is there that gender is a reflection. Number? Excuse me? There's an infinite number of genders? I think depending on your culture, there are a lot of different genders that, that exist. Not a transgender want to take away the title mother from the women. Lord. Yeah, all you women that got babies, they don't want the women now to be called mothers. They want them to be called baby carriers. What? You know, like you're a freight liner. <laughs> like you're a freight Lord, liner. Lord. Baby carriers. <laughs> and you know these dumb, ignorant congressmen is considering it? Mm. What's a woman? Your mama! Your mama. <laughs> That's right. President Biden joining in on the conversation. Mm. Oh, we, we, didn't, we didn't know what a woman is. We, 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 we didn't know what a woman is. And half the women in my cabinet, more than, more than half the people in my cabinet, more than half the women in, the, in my administration are women. That man is past 80, isn't he? He's past 80, right? I, I believe so. You mean to tell me you passed 80 and you don't know your joke mama and your wife? That's right. Is a woman? <laughs> you dumb, ignorant, hell-bound country. That's just a hell-bound country. It's something. Before you know it, the transgender gonna want their Statue of Liberty. Don't be surprised. It'd be something. They gonna want their Statue of Liberty. With a rainbow robe. A wing. That's right. Huh? That's right. With a face like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's right. Get themselves an artist. <laughs> America, America is going to hell. That's right. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law. 
the Defense of Marriage Act. Where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? I am absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying women are entitled to the same exact rights, all the civil rights, all the civil liberties. And quite frankly, I don't see much of a distinction uh, beyond that. God made the man to put forth. Right. God made the woman to bring forth. That's right. Transgender individuals have diverse perspectives when it comes to how they view themselves and how they feel about those who may not agree with them. Many transgender individuals emphasize that it is important to them to identify themselves with any gender they feel like whether it aligns with their biological sex or not. They often express a deep sense of discomfort or dysphoria with how they were born. They also believe that whichever gender they choose to identify as is integral to who they are. Transgender individuals typically demands persons to use their chosen name and pronouns as a way of showing them respect. They may feel hurt or invalidated when others do not acknowledge their preferred pronouns and names. Some transgender individuals try to engage in dialogue with those who do not agree with their gender identity. Many of them will say they are discriminated and that others are biased because of their gender identity. Because of this they get frustration and show anger towards those who do not accept or respect their identities. They often seek allies who provide support and advocate for what they believe to be right. They seek acceptance and inclusivity in society, workplaces, and communities. Transgender individuals often face unique mental health challenges, including depression, anxiety, and gender dysphoria, which many believe is caused by societal rejection or non-acceptance of their gender identity. This drives them to find a supportive community and access mental health resources. While some experience support from their families, Others are rejected which greatly impact their emotional well-being. They will advocate for legal recognition of their gender identity, including the ability to update identification documents such as birth certificates and driver's licenses. They see this as a fundamental right and a way to ensure equal treatment under the law. Individuals who do not agree with transgender identities or do not believe that a person who is assigned male at birth can identify as female are challenged by the transgender community. These individuals base their objections on strict belief in biological determinism, arguing that gender is solely determined by one's physical attributes at birth. They argue that a person's biological sex, which is typically assigned at birth based on physical characteristics, should be the sole determinant of their gender identity. Persons who hold strict religious or cultural beliefs and traditions are often the ones to oppose or not recognize transgender identities. Individuals adhering to such beliefs view gender identity as a matter of divine or cultural order and consider it inappropriate to challenge or change one's assigned gender at birth. Transgenders believe that persons who oppose them may not have been exposed to information or education about gender diversity and may not fully understand the concept of transgender identity. They believe that their views may be rooted in ignorance or unfamiliarity with the experiences and struggles of transgender individuals. There are many who express concerns about the social implications of recognizing transgender identities, such as the use of public restrooms, participation in sports, or implications for legal definitions of gender. They express the potential disruptions to established norms. Transgenders believe that prejudice and fear play a role in some individuals not accepting them. They say that there are bias against them based on stereotypes or misconceptions, leading them to rejection in the validity of transgender identities. Individuals who do not agree with transgender identities, particularly when it comes to children or adolescents, express concerns about transgender individuals forcing young people to make decisions regarding their gender. Some individuals express concerns about potential overreach in terms of transgender rights and recognition, worrying that policies and laws intended to protect transgender individuals might infringe upon the rights or beliefs of others. Many transgender believes that individuals who do not agree with their identities lack exposure to them and their communities. They believe their views might shift as they interact with or learn more about them and their experiences. They want to be approached with respect and patience, hoping that people's views will evolve over time. Many countries, states, and municipalities have enacted anti-discrimination laws that protect transgender individuals from discrimination in employment, housing, education, and public accommodations. 
Some public places and organizations have introduced gender-inclusive restroom facilities which they believe will create an inclusive environment. This have caused many public outcry and debate even in schools. We begin with a suburban student suing her high school. She's transgender and wants equal access to the locker room. CBS 2's Mai Martinez sat down with her for a candid conversation. I'm just like every other girl. I just want to use the locker room. There's nothing different about me. The transgender Palatine High School senior is suing Township High School District 211 for not giving her unrestricted access to the girls' locker room. I feel like I'm being told I don't belong. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and only ladies and gentlemen it is and shall always be. I am an 18-year-old high school student and wanted to take this time to bring to your attention the current issue with biological men claiming they are women and in turn truly believing that they are entitled to use women's spaces. There was an incident within our district that occurred recently regarding a transgender woman who really is a bio biological man having an altercation with a young woman at MLK High School. It was infuriating when I had seen the video on social media, but what was detrimental to this is the fact that this man is and has been using the women's restroom and locker room. Firstly, the question we must address is why are we affirming the mental confusion of this boy and putting the safety of women in jeopardy by allowing mentally confused men to use the women's spaces? Many have strongly opposed transgender rights and identities and have engaged in various forms of backlash against the transgender community. Some pursued legal challenges aimed at rolling back what transgenders believe to be their rights and protections. This includes efforts to block transgender individuals from accessing gender-affirming health care, preventing gender marker changes on identification documents, and challenging anti-discrimination laws. There have been instances where individuals and organizations have opposed policies that promote transgender inclusion such as gender-inclusive restroom policies in schools or regulations supporting transgender participation in sports. Certain groups have organized public protests and demonstrations against transgender so-called rights and visibility. Some religious or conservative groups have sought legal exemptions to avoid complying with anti-discrimination laws that protect transgender individuals. They argue that such laws infringe upon their religious beliefs or freedom of expression. God's creation of male and female is a fundamental aspect of His design and plan for humanity. The Bible teaches us that God created male and female, and no matter how we feel, we should act in accordance with the biological reality of God's perfect design. Transgenders fall short of the glory of God and they are not walking in obedience to Christ. In the Scriptures, there are no other gender categories besides male and female. The Scripture operates with the binary categories of men and women. You are one or the other. The reality of intersex individuals does not undermine God's design, but rather a proven fact that we are in a fallen world because that's not the way they are supposed to be. Likewise, the eunuchs in the scriptures do not refer to sexless persons, but to men who were born without the ability to procreate or who were castrated. Homosexuality is confusing, likewise transgenders, the scriptures says God is not the author of confusion so obviously the devil is the one causing all this turmoil. Male and female is God's idea and we as His creation are meant to embrace His divine design. We must avoid confusion which is displeasing to God. We belong to God and should glorify Him with our bodies. The Bible speaks about men acting like women, this effeminate behavior is unaccepted by God, likewise men with men and women with women. The Scripture says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. The scripture is clear that these persons shall not inherit the kingdom of God, that's how much God is against it. Being transgender is a sign of rebellion. If you were born male that is the way God intended you to be. God doesn't make mistakes, living any other way than how you were biologically created is an abomination. When a person says that being transgender is not a sin or an abomination, they are really trying to tell God that he made a mistake. Being a transgender means that there is something wrong with you. It is a mental disorder caused by the devil himself. No one was born gay, neither does anyone born a female in a male body or a male in a female's body. All this are lies from the devil to trick you into believing that God made a mistake by placing your soul into the wrong body. The devil does this to belittle God's ability in perfect ways. Transgender individuals must answer to God for their abomination. Biological male and female are a gift from God and it is glorious in His sight. Male and female reflects the image of God, 
not only that but they're coming together in a marriage relationship to bringing forth new life is God's purpose and will for humanity. Throughout the Bible, God and His people are called husband and wife or groom and bride. Identifying as any other gender than how we were created distorts His image and His plan for sexuality, marriage, family and the proper ordering of society. Though transgenders are living in sin, the Scripture teaches us that once we are in the land of the living we still have a chance to repent and be forgiven of God, so I hope they will be convicted of their sins and repent so that God can thoroughly purge them from the evil that beset them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.